ABC, how's it going? Matt here, back with another kind of Vinyl Finds video. Again, more of an update slash VCLT thank you video. Um, quick channel update. I know our videos have been kind of few and far between the last few weeks, and there's a reason for that. And I know I've mentioned it before, and I'm sure it's like white noise at this point, but I film wedding videos uh, as kind of a side gig and we're in wedding season, so I'm a little backed up right now with paid gigs, and those come first, obviously. But we do have a couple videos kind of in the can. We're filming one tonight, uh, it's Thursday, so we've got a radio show. We're gonna film a video after the show, and I'll try to have one up next Thursday or Friday sometime, fingers crossed. Um, another record of video posted. And um, yeah, I've got, I don't know, I've got a few record store finds, some eBay finds as well to, to show them those, so at least two or three more videos worth of material to show, so kind of backed up, but we'll we'll get caught up and we'll, we'll start posting more regularly. I've got a little bit of a lull this summer in between wedding gigs, so should should be able to get back on the record run train pretty soon. So that's it for the update. Most of you don't care, but it's fine, whatever. Um, but no, I do have some thank yous to send out to a couple people. I got some VCLT in the mail this week and last, and just wanted to do a quick video to say thanks and and show some love to their channels. So first up, this is from Peter, Peter Bootsman, Killer Bootsman, out in the Netherlands. Uh, he does make videos still every once in a while. He's got some cool country uh, finds that he's got up, I don't know, maybe the last month or so. So check Peter's stuff out, he's a really cool guy, has a cool taste in music, and if you're at all into uh, American country music, check his channel out, he's got a ridiculous collection. Uh, you'll, you'll like it if you're into that stuff, but he also does kind of like the uh, psych stuff as well. So we talk a little bit on Facebook about that here and there, and he hooked me up with some stuff, so I'll kind of bang through these real quick here, get them pulled up into my, my lap. First up, this is The Buffoons. Uh, the hit single, so a greatest hits comp of a group called The Buffoons. I have no idea what this is. According to Discogs, it's kind of like uh, blues rock, hard rock maybe, so I, I love <laughs> the stuff that they're dressed up in. Kind of a weird medieval, I don't even know, Greek look? I don't know, That's it looks cool. Pretty excited about that one. The Cats. Peter sent me a few Cats records in the past and I actually found one that they did with Rare Earth here in the US. I found that at a record show about six months ago. Um, pretty good stuff and he had a note on this one that this is really the only Cats album that you need. Um, really really good pop. A little bit pop psych in spots but mostly just kind of heavy pop. And man it's good stuff. It's really well done. Harmonies are great. Uh, kind of on the softer side of things which I like. I like that stuff quite a bit so that's cool. I'm going to throw these on the floor because they're about to fall off my desk. Sorry. Raw and unedited. Uh, then this is Exception. Self-titled album. Kind of proggy, progadelic-ish, prog pop. I don't even know at this point. I'm just I'm making stuff up. But this is cool. He, he's Like I said, he sent me a couple other stuff before as well. And it's, it's really enjoyable stuff. They usually do classical songs uh, electronically. You know, with guitars, bass, synth keyboards, that kind of stuff. So that's where it gets a little bit proggy, right? So it's classically trained musicians trying to do rock music, uh, and they're actually doing classical music rocked up. So it's pretty cool stuff there. This one, this next one, I actually have a copy of this album. This is Solution Cordon Blue, which, uh, ma, delicious. Uh, <laughs> seriously, chicken and ham rolled together with cheese. Ugh. <laughs> now we're talking. No, I've got a. I think I've got a Canadian copy of this, and it's really, really enjoyable stuff. Um, poppier stuff, a little bit jazz rock, I would call it. Um, I think Peter has mentioned before, either in his videos or on Facebook, that this is an album. Whenever he finds it, he picks it up and sends it out as VCLT because he knows people are going to like it, and it really is. It, it appeals to a wide range of tastes. So if you're into prog, it would appeal to you. If you're a rock guy, I think it would appeal to you as well. So it kind of hits hits a few different notes. And it's really, really good stuff. And this is a super clean copy uh, and, of course, a, uh, a Dutch pressing. So pretty cool to have that. And I'll uh, send my copy along to somebody else. And then this one, I was most excited about this because I was kind of familiar with their stuff. This is Brain Box 2U. I think it's a compilation. Uh, it is a gatefold. So open that up. You can see what the guys look like there. Pretty cool looking guys. And the back is pretty plain. But... Two discs, lots of songs, like 25 songs. No, 20 songs, I'm sorry, I can't do math. Five times four, 20. Um, gosh, I'm all over the place. I'm trying to do this quick, I'm sorry. But no, this is really cool. This is a little bit psychedelic, a little bit blues rock, a little bit hard rock. 
um, and the compilation will kind of cover that gamut of stuff. But I, I saw a Brainbox album at a record show sometime last year and didn't know what it was and didn't pop on it because it was a little pricey. You can go home and check out some other stuff. And really, really enjoyed it. So really excited to give this one a spin and, and digitize it and, and dive into it a little bit deeper as well. So Peter, thank you so much for the package, man. Way too kind, way too generous as always. And I know it's, it's not cheap to send stuff from overseas, so that's much appreciated as well whenever somebody takes the effort to do that. And uh, I'm going to put a link in the description to Peter's channel. Definitely check him out. Like I said, if you're into country music, um, even some psych stuff, rock stuff, he's, he's got great taste. He's a big Sturgill Simpson fan as well. I am too, so we kind of have that in common. And, and Peter, he's just a cool guy, really cool guy. So thank you again, Peter. This next stuff... Next few albums are from Kevin out in uh, Seattle, Kevy Metal. Some of you may remember him. He used to make videos pretty regularly, but so kind of slowed down a little bit as well. It's kind of becoming a trend in the VC, which is fine. But Kevin, no, he's still really active on Facebook, and we, we chat here and there a little bit. Um, and he messaged me not too long ago, an album that I discovered back in December. I posted about it on my personal Facebook page that I was really, really into it and had pre-ordered the vinyl and stuff, and Kevin and I kind of talked about that album, he picked up a copy, and then he got the chance to see this person live in concert, and there was a tour exclusive colored vinyl variant, and he picked up a copy for me, messaged me, asked if I wanted it, told me how much it was, and so I, you know, have begged and begged him to send me his PayPal info, and he won't do it, and he just sent me the record anyway, which I'll get to eventually, but I've gotta, I've gotta find something to send him back, because I wanna pay him back, I'm paying you back, Kevin, I'm paying you back, but he sent me uh, a few albums, along with the, the record that we'll get to. This is Boz Skaggs' Moments. He said, Boz has his moments. <laughs> and, uh, you know, a little on the nose with the joke, but it's good, I like it, it's with my kind of humor. So, Boz Skaggs, I'm not too familiar with his catalog outside of like the radio hits, so I am pretty excited to get into this. And this reminds me a little bit of Yacht Rock. And there's a podcast to listen to, if you're looking for one, about music. It's called Beyond Yacht Rock. It's freaking hilarious, seriously, just, Check out the, the Yacht Rock YouTube series from about 10 years ago, and then check out that podcast. It's not safe for work, but it's hilarious. Um, and then Kevin also sent me this. This is uh, Utopia, Todd Rundgren's Utopia, Adventures in Utopia, and he had a note on this one saying it's prog pop. Um, Todd and I have sort of a, a, a hit and miss relationship. I'm not a huge Todd Rundgren fan. But I do like some of his stuff, and I admittedly haven't heard any of his Utopia stuff. So I'm hoping this might be a little more in my vein. And uh, kind of dig the artwork on it. It does look like that cheesy, like mid-70s, late 70s prog type stuff. But, you know, hey, it might work. So excited to get into both of those as well. But the main reason for the package that he sent me was this. Oh, it's so good. This is Julian Baker, Sprained Ankle. The album came out, I'm going to say like October or November, and then... In December, when when uh, magazines and music websites, that's, I'm trying to think of the word websites, holy crap. Websites, they were doing their like top 100 or top 50 of 2015. This was showing up on quite a few and I hadn't heard of it, hadn't seen anything about it. Excuse me, so I checked it out, listened to like three tracks and immediately bought the vinyl. It was on a pre-order and I got a clear version, uh, which I should have pulled that out too, but it's it's over there somewhere, but anyway. So I bought the clear version, it was like the second printing of it, and shared it on, on Facebook, like I said, and Kevin really, really dug it as well. He saw her in concert, and they had this, this red version, limited to 200 copies available, for I think a little bit cheaper, honestly, than what the uh, actual record itself cost, maybe right around the same price point. And so he was kind enough to pick up a copy for me. And like I said, he refuses to send me his PayPal info. So, Kevin, I'm going to find something for you, man. I'm going to find something to send your way and pay you back for this. Because this was, this was so generous of you to pick up, think of me when you saw it, and, and grab it for me and send it my way. This, this is amazing. This, to describe the music, I don't... It's kind of emo-ish. It's mainly her and a, an electric guitar. But the guitar tone that she has is really, really unique. It's kind of effects-heavy. Um... But it's it's really somber. It's really introspective. Um, her voice is amazing. She's like 19 or 20 years old. The lyrics are super sad, kind of depressing. Um, I, I don't know. I don't really know how to describe the music. It's it's pop flavored, but very dark and introspective, and like I said, a little bit a little bit somber in spots. But this this hits all the right notes for me and what I'm looking for in that kind of indie rock sound and sensibility. I, I 
I've got a thing for emo music. It was what I was into in college and late high school. You know, whatever. We all <laughs> we all change and evolve. But though this this kind of took me back to that spot and what it was like to be at that age and to have sort of that angst. Um, and she's been through some stuff, man. Talks a lot about battling drug addiction. Um, suicide attempts, things like that, coming to terms with um, her faith in God as well. She was from Tennessee and grew up in a uh, like a very religious home, but she's gay, and so kind of talks a little bit about you know coming to terms with her faith and what did she believe and you know grappling with the existence of God and that's man that like existential kind of doom and despair that's right up my alley. So check this out. Seriously, I know this is not psychedelic or anything like that, but this will give you another idea of kind of my other taste in music as well, some more of that indie rock kind of stuff that I like, um, and just fantastic. Really, really good stuff. I'm very jealous that Kevin got to see her in concert. The closest she was to me was Chicago, and it was back in like February or March, and it was cold and snowy, and I didn't have a chance to, to make the three, four hour drive up there to see her, but I, I think she's doing a fall tour. Maybe I can catch her on that as well. So. Anyway, Kevin, thank you so much. I'll put a link to his channel in the description as well, but like I said, doesn't make videos a whole lot anymore, but he's a cool guy. Watch his back catalog of videos. He's he's a cool guy. Really good taste in music as well, and, and, a, and a kind and generous guy as well. So that's it. That's it for the update and for the uh, VCLT. Thank you. Like I said, thank you guys so much. Check the channels out. I appreciate all of you watching. I appreciate all of your comments, and uh, look forward to a record run video hopefully next week. Fingers crossed. Until then, we'll see you guys later. Bye.